Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion and lifestyle content and particularly for the woman over 40. But today's video is for everyone, regardless of your age. If you love fashion, if you love outfit inspiration, if you love looking on social media and getting fashion ideas, then today's video is for you. Now, as a content creator and other content creators do the exact same thing, we think and talk about outfit inspiration a lot because you know, you all come for the content, you all come for the outfits. And I know for myself, I get my outfit inspiration from everywhere. A lot of it I get on social media, I get it on Instagram, I get it on YouTube. I also get outfit inspiration from fashion shows. You all know that Fendi fashion show for the spring, summer, 2022 was everything. I also get it from fashion magazine and vintage pictures. I love, love looking at vintage pictures because I love the detail in the cut of the clothing that they used to make. Nowadays, everything is so fast fashion, but back then, a lot of the things were made by hand. The detail is extraordinary. The quality of the fabric was fantastic. And they really put a lot of time and effort into creating those outfits and those pieces. And they're just beautiful. So I really love looking at vintage pictures. I also look at Pinterest. Now, today's video is all about outfits that I saw on Pinterest that I love and thought, I wonder how I would look in this or how this would look on me. So I have five outfits. I think pretty sure they're all from Pinterest. One or two may not be, but I'm pretty sure they're all from Pinterest that I saw and I was like, I wonder how that would look on me or I really, really like the outfit or I was thinking, oh, I have similar things in my closet. Let me see if I can recreate this look. If you would like to see what those five outfits are, then stay tuned now. Let's get started. <laughs> Before I get started, this is my outfit of the day. This faux leather shirt I purchased from Zara about three, three and a half years ago. I fell in love with the color. I fell in love with the cut. It's just really interesting up top. I thought it was beautiful and I've loved it ever since. These pants are the ankle, ankle jeans from Express. Some of my favorite jeans. They're so easy. They're really, really comfortable. They're uh, kind of like a faded black, but they're just really comfortable. And I chose these slip on, uh, kind of almost like sandals, even though it's fall, but it's still, it's not too cold here in Texas. These are from Dillard's. I saw Marissa with these on. She's another YouTuber that I follow. I love watching her. I think she's in, she's in Austin, Texas. She had these on. She talked about how much she loved them. So I went and purchased them because Dillard's is one of my favorite places to get shoes. And I love them so much. I bought them in two colors. So I have them in black and I also have these in turquoise. My scent of the day is Amazing Grace by Philosophy. I love this scent, especially for spring and summer, but since I'm not going out of the house much today, then I thought it would be um, perfect for today. It's a soft, floral, soapy kind of scent. It's like a clean scent. It just makes you feel like you just had a good shower or a good soaking bath and you put on like a body spray. So it's not a heavy scent. Perfect if you're gonna be home for most of the day, but you still like to wear your perfume like I do. Um, even though it's not a spring summer, this is definitely a spring summer type scent. But again, I'm not gonna be leaving the house much today. So I thought it would be perfect. Something light for me to wear around the house and still feel pretty. So I'm looking at picture number one or inspiration number one, and I think I nailed it. The only difference is my belt buckle is a matte belt buckle. I do have a Gucci belt, um, Gucci belt just like this, but it's a tan belt and not a black belt. And I wanted a black belt to match the black pants. I think, I think I nailed it. And I really love this look. I love the the stripes on the shirt. I love the combination of the black, white, and the tan. I think this feels really chic and elevated. It feels comfortable. Um, it feels modern. I love it. I, lo I just love everything about it. And I bought this striped shirt and another striped shirt because I had seen pictures on the internet with uh, women with striped shirts on like this and they had styled them in different ways and I love the way they look. So I purchased these shirts Probably, I have this, this one is a long sleeve and I have a short sleeve. Probably purchased these over a month ago and I am so glad I did. I really, really like this look. My matte black belt does not take away from my pants, but it is um, 
functional because I, I was able to tuck my shirt in behind it. This shirt is pretty long, it comes down to here. But I was able to tuck it in behind the belt and my pants have an elastic waist. I didn't really need the belt, but I like the little extra, a little extra something something to the outfit. And of course these uh, split front pants, I'm loving these. Y'all are gonna see these all fall and winter long. So that, that's it, but this is the look and I think I pulled it off perfectly. This blazer is the old one. Pretty sure it's from Banana Republic. Um, definitely not from Express. I think it's from Banana Republic, but I love it. Tell me what y'all think in the comments about this first outfit. Okay, so I'm looking at the next look. I think this is more inspired than the exact same look, but it's, it's pretty close to the young lady in the red. So here's what I have on. I do have on some zebra stripe slip on mules, similar to what she has on. These are really cute, black and white. And I have a zebra stripe puff bag to match the shoes, which I think is really cute. And I do love the contrast of this black and white with this maroon. It looks more like a deep plum purple, oh, raspberry. That's probably the color, more like a raspberry color. I love this color combination. The print and the solid and the combination of the black and white and this, I think it's really pretty. And this is my jogging suit. I don't have a red one, but I did have this one. Mine does have a zipper up the front. I love the look of this. Don't know if I love it for me, to be honest. I think it's pretty. I think it's very youthful. I think it's fresh. I don't know if I love it for me. I love the color combination. So I don't know. I, I don't hate it. I do not hate it. Don't know if it's something that I would reach for as an outfit inspiration. I did really like the way it looked on her. It looked really fresh and, and very youthful, but I don't know if I love it. Don't know if it's the color of the sweatsuit or the entire idea on me, but I, it's very comfortable. It's very comfortable. It's very unexpected. It's different. Um, would I wear it again if I had to? Yes, of course I would. I would wear it out, but I definitely would have thought to put this together, but don't know if it's for me. I don't know. I don't hate it though. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. But, but here's what it looks like. You can see this bag. If you like this bag, it's a dupe for the Bottega bag. And, but this one came from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box, but here's what my outfit looks like. It is cute though. I'm not going to lie. It's cute. I'm looking at the next look. I think I nailed this one as well. This is very, very close to what she has on. I do have some differences. My blazer is different. And so I just found this faux leather um, blazer, double breasted blazer in my, <laughs> in my wardrobe that I purchased from Zara. I have no clue when I probably last year, or year before last, I don't remember. Do have the oversized white shirt, which is very, very comfortable. Instead of faded denim, I have on my faux leather um, pants here, ankle pants, and I am loving these. These are a recent purchase, I love them. Uh, also, I have on pink shoes, but mine are not pointed, they're square toe. I love these shoes. They remind me of something that, my, honestly, that my grandmother would have worn, but I just love them. I love the vintage look of them. They're very, very comfortable. The toe bed is wide, so they're comfortable has a little thin strap that goes around the ankle. I think the heel is probably three, three and a half inches, but it's, it's such a chunky heel that it feels very comfortable. So again, I think I captured the essence of her outfit. Although her blazer was um, looked like it was brocade and had some flowers on it, I have the exact same color. So I do like this look. I do like it. I think the white, the brown, and the black is a very neutral combination. And then you have this pop this bright, bright pop of pink color on the shoes. I love it. This is definitely something I would go out to uh, have a really nice lunch with my husband or if I had a business luncheon or a business date, I would definitely wear something like this. It's very comfortable and I think it's pretty. I think it looks elevated. It looks very intentional. I wish I had some round earrings to put in my ears, some just some, um, some clip-ons. I think I'm gonna start collecting some of those. I just love the look of, of that vintage 1950, 1960 clip-on round earrings. So I'm gonna start collecting those. But I think I, I think I nailed this look. I love it. I really do. Let me know which one of the looks is your favorite and let me know how you feel about each look, to be honest. So what do you think about this look? 
Well, normally I don't wear a lot of oversized blazers because I'm petite, but uh, apparently I did like them because I bought this one, but I am loving the look. Okay, so I'm looking at the fourth look. I, I really nailed this one. Uh, I was not surprised that I had similar things in my closet because you know, shackets have been in for the last couple of years and I love me a pair of Jordans, you know, I'm hooked now. Hopefully I get some for Christmas, hint, hint. Okay, <laughs> so I did have red and white Jordans and then I so just so happened to have this shacket with red and white and blue in it. Also, of course, I had a pair of jeans. So this, this is definitely me. It's comfortable. It's definitely something I would throw on if I was going out shopping with my husband or we're just gonna be out on one of our, what we call adventures where we're just out and about because I like to stay warm. The undershirt is sleeveless, so this is not real, real thick, but it's thick enough. But it's, and, and it has pockets. Pretty sure I got it from Amazon. But this is the look I love this look. So don't forget, when you see pictures that you like, use them as an inspiration. You don't actually have to have everything that that picture has, but if you use it as an inspiration, like I was inspired by the picture, what she has on is blue and white head to toe minus the jeans. But I had the same thing in red and white, or you don't have to have that the same thing. It could be just like a solid color um, duster or a shacket or something like that. But just use that picture as an inspiration to pull things out of your closet and put outfits together. But this is definitely me. I'm loving it. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I didn't use a beige purse. I used my black purse because I just think it goes much better than a beige purse with this because everything is white. It's not, my top is white. My shoes are red and white. Even a white in this jacket is white. It's not a cream color. So I didn't want to use a cream color purse. So I just used my black Louis Vuitton, but this, it's so me. I'm going, I mean, I would wear this anywhere. I would wear, not necessarily shopping. I don't like to put on all these clothes when I'm going shopping, but this is definitely me. And I think I pulled that look off very well. And I love this look. It's, it's, it's just comfortable. It's very comfortable. Okay, so this is the final look that inspired my final look. And I just love everything about this. I love the denim. You know, I love denim. It's my favorite thing to wear. I love the fact that this looks very feminine, but it looks a little masculine all at the same time. I just love it. I love her shoes. I love the outfit, of course. I love that Loewe puzzle bag. I don't have one, although it is on my wish list. And I love the baseball cap, which makes it look a little casual, but the heels make it look a little dressed up. This is just a beautiful, beautiful, perfect outfit in my opinion. It's very much me. And this is how I recreated the look. I don't have those shoes. I did put on these nude shoes. They're very nude on me. I just so happened to recently purchase both of these pieces. They're from two different stores because long denim skirts are in. I had one a long time ago, but, um, I purchased this one. It's a little bit too big. It's a little bit oversized. I got a six when I normally wear a size four. I recently purchased this shirt as well. This is a men's denim shirt because I wanted a little bit oversized and it's a size small, but you can tell it's still a little bit oversized. And that's why I purchased it from the men's department. And it was on sale. I think both of these pieces it was probably under hundred dollars for both of them i'll leave links to both of them in the description box i also paired it with my dior purse because i thought it would go perfectly because it's beige and denim so i thought it would look great with this look i don't have a baseball cap with like that but i do have one let me just go get it so you can see if it matches. It's brown. I do have a brown and I have a black one, but I think the brown would go very well with this outfit because the shoes are new, which is a brown. And I think brown would look really, really nice with the, with the gold accents. Hold please. Here's my hat. What do you think? Why would I wear New York Yankees when I can wear Angela Michelle cap? Ha <laughs> ha so cute. Here we go. Bye. What do you think? So I'm thinking about selling these on my website to create revenue for my YouTube channel, for some travel vlogs. Just let me know what you think. I have it in brown. Go with this outfit. And I also have it in black. As you can see, both of the hats look exactly the same, but they're not. But I love them both. I had them both made and I just love the brown and the black color. So let me know if you think I should sell these on my website, if you'd be willing to purchase them. And um, I'll see if I can get some, some more made. But here we go. 
Change the shoes to some black shoes with the black hat. I think this is the look. This is so cute. Well, that's it, family. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know again if you think I should put these hats on my website, if you'd be willing to purchase, if you'd like one with my Angela Michelle logo on it. I have them made because I just thought, why would I wear someone else's name on a baseball hat when I could just wear my own? Okay, promote me, Angela Michelle. Yes, I did. Now, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the looks. Don't forget, head over to my website and take a look at everything that's going on over there, AngelaMichelle.com. And again, no matter where you are in the world, I want you to have the most blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye. You! What did it say? What did it say? <laughs> you can't see my eyes.